So let's say that the pharmace pharmaceutical industry, the doctors who have done the study are completely ethical, they are above board, they have done nothing wrong, that the data is robust. And you say, come and show me the best study you have done that shows that statin is beneficial. You got to go back to 1994, the forest trial, about 4,000 plus patients in Scandinavia, half of them given simvastatin, half of them not given simvastatin. At the end of five years, the reduction in mortality was 0.6% per year. That is the most robust endpoint, mortality. 0.6% per year, okay? Now, it would be honorable for the doctors and the pharmaceutical industry to say, yes, this is our result, but they pointed saying that there was a 42% reduction in mortality. Now, I borrowed these slides from Malcolm Kendrick. I've used them before. I would appreciate that even if you have heard it before that you laugh. <laughs> Let's say the Colorado Lotto, if you buy a ticket, your chances of winning is one in 15 million. And I come and say, I'm an expert at predicting who will win. I'll increase your chances by winning by 50%. How much is that realistically? That is 1.5 in 15 million. So in absolute terms, that is 0 0.603. So if I were a pharmaceutical industry, I would sell my wares like this. Do you want to be a millionaire? Send me 50 bucks. I will increase your chances by 50%. This is no contract. On the other hand, if I were being honest, this is what I would say, that the pathetic, desperate, lonely Dr. Ali can very minusculely increase your chances of winning the lotto. Please send me this much money. You get the point. <laughs> so the truth is that you should always talk about absolute risk reduction, never relative risk reduction. So I don't want you to get bogged down by the slide. I took a lot of time to prepare it, and it has very useful information. So in the LDL reduction line, it's showing the degree of reduction in LDL over time from 1994 to 2017. And on the mortality benefit line, it's showing the degree of mortality benefit. So the forest trial we've seen over five years, 3.3% reduction. But then 2004 was a landmark point in which the Vioxx trial came out. When the Vioxx trial was uh, evaluated, it was found that Merck did data tampering, the same company that did the forest study. They also found that Merck hid the data that showed that these people were having heart attacks. What happened? 88,000 patients had a heart attack. Roughly 40,000 patients died. And when it came to light, Merck paid $5 billion in damages. That's the first time that Congress put in guidelines that said that if you do a study, you need to publish it. Because before that, a company could do 10 different studies, hit the, hide the nine, and publish the one that showed benefit. Now, that's when scrutiny started. And if you look at the trial called the CARDS trial in diabetics, 33% reduction in cholesterol, 1.5% reduction in mortality. But that was before the clinical trial guidelines. A similar trial was conducted right after clinical trial guidelines. Same group of diabetic patients. Similar reduction in cholesterol. Zero reduction in mortality. The Jupiter trial. This trial reduced cholesterol by over 50%. The reduction in mortality was half a percent. The Fourier trial that I will show you reduced cholesterol by almost 60%. It had 28,000 patients. There was a slight increase in mortality. 